हेलो जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू न्यू लेसन दिस इज फ्रॉम बी हाइव द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड रिटन बाय मुल्क राज आनंद सॉरी फॉर द लेट अपलोड बिकॉज ऑफ बिट ऑफ नेटवर्क इश्यू बट डू कंप्लीट योर लेसन आई होप यू हैव कंप्लीटेड द प्रीवियस लेसन एंड प्लीज सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइजेज एंड सेंड मी थ्रू व्हाट्सएप सो दैट आई मे चेक योर वर्क about the author let's read about the author so who was mulkraj anand who has written this particular story and as you can understand or guess that the story is about a lost child so he was a famous indian writer and art critic born in peshawar in punjab on december 12th 1905 he spent his early life in military camps which was not at all in a kind of good condition for any kid he was educated first at the punjab university from where he graduated and then he went to england and studied philosophy in london he was awarded ph degrees and um, he was also a lecturer in philosophy and he studied from london university so uh, i guess times changed for him as he went to england and he learnt uh, he also became a film script writer under the british ministry of information he was a staff on the bbc that uh, british uh, broadcast okay channel i think uh, the news and all you must have seen so he worked out there also he was a editor in several magazines also and he including the mark which is a famous art journal and uh, he died on september 28th 2004 i guess some of you weren't even born yet but okay so uh, let's see this is a story where mulk raj anand will narrate How a little boy was lost in the crowd of a village fair. Have you ever been lost at a fair when you went with your parents? Uh, I have been lost uh, at the fair, and it was it's a very terrifying experience. And uh, we will come to know about the experience through the story. And in this story, it tells us how. on his way to the fair he was attracted you know children when they go to the fair even when you go to the fair baisakhi mela or whatever what happens to you you know children they get attracted by toys sweet meats means the uh, sweets okay it's also called sweet meat balloons birds butterflies flowers you know so many games but what attracted him most was the roundabout round about you know, the merry go round or the that big wheel also so this attracted and children they love going on rides as you know uh it made him forget his parents and everything else in the world thus he lagged far behind his parents so he was keeping on watching and this was the time when he lagged behind and he didn't even notice that his parents were there weren't there uh thus he lagged behind far from his parents and he got lost in the crowd of the fair here anand deals with the child psychology in a sensitive way without shying away from its reality so and so it happens obviously if children are there and if the parents are not holding hands of the children uh there are, there is a high probability that the children get lost and you must have heard the announcements also uh in the baisakhi mela or some mela ha eta kar bachcha ache niye jan lal jama pore ache ki naam katte che all these things and uh, you might also be searching for for uh, the child and uh, so we have to be careful with children when we go to fairs and even the children need to be careful enough not to get lost or uh, not to stray too far away from their parents so on the day of the spring festival 
that's Baisakhi. A large crowd of brightly dressed people came out of the lanes of a city and proceeded towards the village fair. So there was a fair in the village and they were going out there. Among them was a little boy following his parents. So he was following his parents. The little boy lagged behind his parents as he was attracted by a toy shop. So the first time he slowed down and he was because he spent time in observing those that nice toy whatever it was okay, because he wants to buy it. Yes, that is what children do. I think uh, you might have similar experience when you've passed through a toy store and you you know sometimes you stop by it and keep looking what it is and you sometimes even have the courage to ask your parents please get me this or they start crying right and uh, he wanted a toy but received only an angry look from his father and how generally not generally some fathers are <laughs> but some fathers yeah they get very angry uh, if you ask them for silly toys and you will know he was just giving him angry looks because from a father's viewpoint they just got a toy and they don't play with it and or sometimes they break it so it seems a waste of uh, money for them and <laughs> and also because nowadays at present you know, we are banning toys the chinese toys so if those toys are chinese i suggest those fathers not to buy also so uh, out here we see um, father was giving angry looks whenever the child asked the toy and whereas the mother she was kind hearted because that is how mothers generally are uh, she only asked him to see what was before him and uh, the mother said uh, called her child to, let's go on forward maybe in some other shop so the child began to sob he was a bit weepy a bit sad but when he saw what lay before him his eyes were filled with delight but children they cry one moment and they are happy the next moment and he was also happy when he saw what was a bit f away from the shop and what was it it was a mustard field uh, which uh, which was full of flowers which stretched which stretched for miles like a rippling yellow river and uh, yeah it was a field of mustard and really it was a sight to behold similar to that uh, poem in daffodils yeah 10,000 I saw at a once yeah so uh, this sight really made the child very happy because who won't be happy to see a field full of flowers that too yellow and uh, really bright so the child was happy again he was delighted he wanted to go and play out there and then the child's joy knew no bounds. He left the footpath and entered into the mustard field. So he went into the mustard field and he began to chase some dragonflies and a black bee or a butterfly. So he was chasing butterflies and dragonflies because that's what children do. They like to play. And uh, have you ever played with butterflies or dragonflies or have you tried to catch? I remember I have and I thing that you have to uh, and really the sight of butterflies and these insects were very uh, awe, awe inspiring and uh, jaw dropping for the child he was very happy he was chasing them uh, but his mother was calling him to the footpath again because they had they were going to the fair and this child was meandering away and lagging behind so uh, the mother called him and again he joined his parents and they walked side by side for some time but again left them being attracted by a number of little worms and insects but he walked for some time with them again he was distracted because he saw some worms and insects and again he was called back by his parents who were now sitting at the edge of a well. They were seated under an old banyan tree which 
spread its branches over small trees such as the champak and gulmohar so uh, the parents were waiting for the child and uh, they were taking some rest under a champak and gulmohar tree uh, under a banyan tree and then what happened was the lost child does treat some very important issues there are some important issues also which are at play in, through this story central to its human kind's responsibility to world outside the episodes dealing with the stranded crowd crowds en route to gala are exciting they are handled realistically anand does not undergo the searching of the indian crowd and he definitely shows that trying to rescue them in order is a large futile activity still most of the characters in the story including the narrator are convinced that it's is one's duty to try to fun and frolic them anyway so uh, there is a meaning at large behind the story there is a kind of philosophy because he is a philosopher after all uh, <clears throat> and he studied philosophy so there is a deep uh, indian philosophy that a child will be a child and for them fun and frolic is very important they love to play and uh, we can't stop children from being children and but in that momentary distraction uh, they might get lost from the path and just like children we also get lost from the path we also get distracted by different uh, fields of entertainment maybe games uh, maybe maybe uh, social media and uh, maybe tiktok so many things are there to distract children adults whatever because everyone is a child at heart so the there is the central theme which deals with it and uh, if we are not careful and if we do not focus on the path and if we do not pay heed to our parents we might just get lost like the child and be left in hopeless desolation so uh, we must be careful that is what is the underlying advice moral to the story like the lost child he gets lost and when he is lost uh, when he cannot see his parents anymore because he was distracted by the snake charmers i hope uh, we will you will uh, read the story also which i have already sent you it's behave from the book behave the lost child please read it and obviously you have to solve the exercises and do send them to me through whatsapp so that i can check because uh, you will be having a test coming up a test is coming up periodic test so uh, please update yourself and update your english portion so as we were talking about this lost child we see that uh, he is attracted by almost everything from garland of flowers to toys to sweets but at last when he is lost he wants nothing more but his parents he wants nothing more uh, and he is offered by a kind man also all those things that he was wanting to have but when he feels the sense of loss of never seeing his parents again uh he is filled with deep anguish and regret and he can't stop bawling because that is what children do if they are lost they get scared and frightened like a small kitten and when they had almost reached the fair the child was attracted by the cries of a sweet meat seller a sweet meat seller means somebody who sells sweets okay like you have we have the sweet shops right his mouth watered for the barfi which was his favorite sweet he knew that his desire would not be fulfilled 
yet he spoke of it in a whisper that moved on without waiting for an answer the next attraction was the rainbow colored balloons but he was sure that he would be refused then he came to a snake charmer which was playing on a flute before a snake but the child had to pass on the greatest attraction for the child came next so so many uh, attractions were keeping on coming because a fair is full of attractions but the child had to pass on the greatest attraction for the child came next and what it was it was a roundabout in full swing roundabout you know that roundabout merry go round and it was really very very attractive he saw some children were already on it and he watched it going round and round with a merry band of men women and children on it they were enjoying the uh, roundabout and he also wanted to be there as soon as it stopped he boldly asked his parents for the pleasure of a ride please i also want to go to the roundabout but when he turned round he could not find them he turned round he was lost he couldn't uh, see his parents and with a heart rend- rending cry of fear and grief the weeping child ran about madly he started running here and there searching uh, his for his parents trying to find where his parents were and there was a huge crowd and obviously he can't find them there was no sign of his parents his turban came off and his clothes became wet and sweaty and muddy because he was tired from running the little boy was sobbing and crying for some time and then people started running again this time he ran to a crowded temple desperately he ran through people's legs because he was a little boy small child and he was running through the legs of the people uh, okay in the in the crowd and he was shouting mother father he wanted them to hear him and uh, reunite with his parents and it's a very uh, sad scene for him at the door of the temple the crowd was thick but he was knocked down and was about to be trampled so near the temple you know you, have, you must have been to some fairs where there is huge crowd and people just push and pull very roughly and uh, their small ch- and in such a similar situation the child was the child fell down and he was about to be trampled crushed by the sh- by the shoes of others uh, but there was a kind man amongst the crowd and this man picked up the child okay uh, and asked him whose baby he was so the child picked him up and asked whose baby are you but the ch- mother child uh, was only crying and he said that he wanted his mother and he wanted his father the child was just crying mother father whatever so he just wanted for his parents he wanted to be with his parent because he was not safe he knew that uh, he was not safe and he didn't want to lose his parents the kind-hearted man tried to console hush child be quiet and he offered him a ride would you like to go on the ride to the very ground because that is what people will do they will try to make the uh, children stop crying but he didn't want that child repeated oh i don't know i want mother i want father so he was very very uh, he was still very pensive and uh, he was very worried to find his parents the man next took him to the snake charmer child would you like to uh, you know listen to the flute and see watch the child he just closed his ears he didn't want to listen to the flute the man again uh, he offered to buy him some colored balloons you want a balloon will this make you happy but the child didn't want the balloons also he just kept on saying i want my mother i want my father then 
he offered to buy him some sweets also to console the child so that it becomes quiet but all efforts failed the child only sobbed i want my mother i want my father because that is what really matters the big things in life not the small entertainments and in midst of being distracted we cannot lose uh, sight of our vision of our goal and of our path so it has a very deep underlying and the beautiful way that it is written by a master like mulk raj anand i really uh, wish you read the story through line by line and uh, solve the exercises it will be a comprehensive passage exercise uh, practice for you uh, and uh, please send it to me thank you that's it for now uh, watch you in the next tutorial video and uh, please like if you have understood and comment any questions that pop up in your mind jai